Merchant banking is an industry that relies heavily on close engagement with customers through a network of sales representatives. And a major merchant banking group in the UK approached the data school and asked how we could optimize how they did this. So they had nine salespeople operating over these nine competing ranges. And I think these different territories were pretty much drawn up freehand and roughly follow regional boundaries. And while these seem intuitive and manageable to traverse by car, they resulted in these territories that provided radically different sales opportunities for our different salespeople. So our challenge here was to redraw these sales territories based on data rather than intuition and to balance manageability with equity. Okay, so we started with three inputs. Postal districts within each person's existing territory, postal district shapefiles, and also a list of customers and their estimated turnover from which we could calculate sales opportunity. So we thought we'd start from a blank slate and begin to build territories from the bottom up, giving us a bit more flexibility to factor in our own conditions. So to do this, we first needed to define some starting seeds to anchor growth around. And we took these as the central point of each person's sales territory, existing sales territory. And this was quite easy to calculate through the summarize tool. Now, if you're, you're to look at the sales potential of each person's home district, what you'd see is a huge variance. And if you wanted to even this out, you'd begin to assign additional districts to the likes of Mark Corrigan and Jeremy Osborne. And you continue to do this until you approximate near equity. And this is the whole basis of this macro here, which starts by finding out which person has the lowest sales opportunity, assigning them their closest district, recalculating the salesperson opportunities after that, and then iterating until all the postcodes have been assigned. To illustrate this, I've animated the process at high speed. And you can begin to see the sales territories growing out around their centroids. And in doing so, the sales opportunities begin to even out and they stay even due to the equitable distribution of new territories. However, you reach some issues as you get towards the end here. And as territories begin to get cut off in the corners, the next nearest postal district might be the other end of the country, which causes these islands to appear, which are going to cause logistic issues and we want to get rid of. To deal with the formation of these islands, we redefined each person's territory as the single biggest polygon or mainland blob using a combination of these tools here. And then we used a similar macro to before to equitably distribute these island blobs among the salespeople, um, but this time only to territories that they were directly butting onto. And what you end up with are these quite compact, homogenous territories, but at the cost of sacrificing some of the equity. So to get things back on track, we used one final macro. And this looks a bit more complex than the others because there's two spatial processes going on. So like the other macros, in the favour of equity, this starts by finding the salesperson with the lowest current opportunity, and then returning a list of districts touching their territory using the spatial match. And out of these districts, prioritising the one which is both close to the salesperson's centroid to favour the growth of the quite, quite circular compact territory. And also the district which is from the donor with the greatest current sales opportunity. So we're sort of killing two birds with one stone here. And swap that district between the salespeople and iterate until you get a reasonable equity. Here's an illustration of that swapping process playing out. You can see those postal districts changing hands. And the end result is that you have these relatively compact, manageable sales territories, and you've almost half the standard deviation in sales opportunity. So our final solution doesn't appear that different from the bank's original map, but the simple redistribution of districts has considerably evened up the sales opportunity from a standard deviation of 5.3% to one of 1.2%. And another benefit of this process over the predefined sales territories is that these boundaries are dynamic. 
This can update automatically in response to new information on customer opportunities. We can also take this one step further and transform it into an Alteryx app that allows the bank to change the parameters of the macros to optimize territories based on their own priorities. For example, if they wanted to begin to aggregate territories based more on sales rep convenience or based more on customer opportunities.